Oh, it was mean, eh? Like, we just, you know, we worked so hard, you know, um, on that off-season to get the car ready and stuff, and we had a few little troubles with the engine that before we started, and we just nailed those all together and, um, you know, just to put it all together and go out there and um, have two good results was just awesome. Music means the most to me, like depending on my groceries, I'm believing in my hopes and dreams, but addicts and coke and pills are close to me. Plugging in my headphones, I'm ready, set, about to let go. Yeah, like, oh, oh, it's hard to explain, but it was a long time coming. And Justin, you know, said to me a week or two before it, he goes, why do you always finish second, fall apart sort of thing, you know, in that final? And, um, and he was asking me what I do wrong. I said, you know, I just want to go hard, you know, I'm amped up and I don't want to win just you know driving 90% because someone's made a mistake I want to go hard but no one wants to see a final and here I am Sunday driving out the back because you know the other I've already got an advantage or something like that you know Like I had a um, couple of mates come back from Aussie and that, that have all been in the drift scene, you know, years ago and that, and they came and helped, they were changing all my tyres and, you know, they had a ball, you know, they were stoked that it, the one grey round fell when they were back, you know, seeing all their families and stuff like that, and yeah, I was stoked to have them there and, and to do well in front of them, you know. We just, we're having a ball, man, like, I'm just, I'm so happy in that car at the moment, we just, you know, jumping, I'm just, it's like I'm, I'm foot dancing in there and, you know, just doing a bit of footwork and just having so much fun, you know, like, just all my friends and family just all helping, you know, guys here, you can hear them working on the truck now and, um, it's just, yeah, like, just everything's just coming together, your team's happy and, I mean that's the main thing, you know, we've sort of got to that point now where we've finished the truck and we've got the car to sort of where we want it, we're cruising along, having fun and I think, you know, that's the main reason why we're getting, you know, the results. That's the setup, eh, Mike T? Yeah, bro, but I'm fine. Yeah.
The weekend straight after round two, Whangarei, we went down to the Red Bull Drift Shifters. First drift event in Auckland City, first drift shifters in the world, and a big shout out to Mad Mike, you know, for bringing the drift shifters to, you know, and letting it be in New Zealand for the first time, you know, it was me. I knew it was going to happen at the start of the day. It was only going to be, you know, a slight mistake or just try, you know. What it was is I came around and I watched a few of the other drivers. They go under once, get the points, and then they were going around again and getting the two points on the front of the truck. So what I did is I came through, and all I was focused on is trying to give it noise under the truck, you know. I just wanted to come out on the limiter or what, you know, that's what I was trying to achieve. And um, we came round under the first time and I came round tighter onto the front of the truck of those two clips and then I just tried to really get on the note underneath it and it just drove in towards the, it drove too tight, like an apex too early. I think I actually hit the first side and then I just clutched it and gave it some more noise and, and just drove it right into it, stopped, you know. It was gonna happen! It was gonna happen and it was gonna have to happen in one of the biggest cars out here. You know, I think the crowd just you know, after smacking the roof in there, we just I was like, you know, and the crowd was going mental and I was just I was actually gutted that they um, red flagged me after that happened because I just wanted to keep going. Only a roof, and next minute, oh well, it's only a rear quarter, and we're having fun, eh? A lot of supporters there, you know, a lot of fan, you know, fans following me and um, cheering me on, and. We we're just having fun. Man. It didn't matter. It didn't matter where we finished. I was more, you know, like we d we took some grip out of the car and we made it bag up, you know, with the new tri ace tyres. You know, everyone was like, "Oh, what's it, you know those new tyres are mean." You know? <laughs> slower than anyone else and um, I was quite surprised you know because we took heaps of grip out of it and we were just banging up like I was just it felt like the thing had a thousand horse it was just we, we pumped the top we had the tire pressures up a little bit and I think Mike T lowered the, the, um, the car a little bit you know sat it down so it most probably was sort of breaking loose because in the bump stops and um, yeah we just um, we just had fun you know like it wasn't part of our championship and as you can see on the footage, we just, it was on fire, you know? Yeah, we come back into the pits there, and you was like, fire out, man, those tires smoke hard. So we were just, um, yeah, we were buzzing out, man. <laughs> It's not too bad. You gonna fix that, Mike? Buff right out, bro. Buff right out. That was a tree, Kenny, on the way home. Yeah, I seen it, bro. A tree on the. It was on a trailer, and a it tree was just off hit the it. side of the motorway. Just hit it, and NAC Insurance Company will take right, take care of that. Buff right out. Um, so what we did we um we chopped the chopped the glass out. Um, 
my mate Logan and his father, they, we got stuck into it a few days before Christmas and um, got it out of the way so we could, you know, have some family time and didn't have to worry about the car, you know. Yeah, we cut the glass out, we got a new roof, we got a roof chop from Jerry Car Parts and unstitched it all, um, the old the old one, and unstitched the um, new roof off the old pillars and stuff and yeah, spot welded it back on and took it to Smith & Smith Glass and new windscreen front and rear and um, yeah, we just panel bedded the rear quarter and a little bit of the pillar and yeah, we're away. <laughs> Ancient art of game time bumpers. The next round coming up is Tauranga, Bay Park, um, where all the top speedway drivers and that are from. And yeah, man, like I'm real looking forward to it. Eh? Um, you know, looking at the design of the track and that, and having that um, entry on your driver's side. Um, going back you know like I always try and relate a track to somewhere else I've driven and that's how I work out my gearing how I'm gonna you know this is what I think and then we take it back up if that's not gonna work uh, when I went to Asia did the Asia um, Goodyear with Goodyear Racing we did um, Kuala Lumpur was a um, entry that actually fell off and went over a rise um, and you actually had to power the car sort of uphill to get yourself off the wall, otherwise you know you're in the shit. You're gonna you're gonna suck into that wall so hard. Same thing there. We qualified number one and won it in Kuala Lumpur. So that's how I'm sort of relating that track by looking at the design and that. Um, this is how I'm gonna approach it, you know. So we got a pretty um, a pretty good idea of how we're gonna try and run it. It's just down to the surfaces and, and making sure that gearing's right. It might be a little bit faster than um, the other track I got in mind, but we'll work around it, you know. Plugging in my headphones, I'm ready to set about to let go, about to escape to a place where nobody knows. Looking forward to this weekend, man. I can't wait. You know, um, yeah, my drivers to to win a championship in that car, and um, you know, that's my goal for this year. But it's a long way to the end, you know. We got to keep that car running. Um, just yeah, just be consistent, you know. I've, I'm, I think if the car holds together, it, it, it performs. You know, the engine's good. We've had no problems with that. Yeah, we're just just consistent. I, I'd like to. I'd like to say I want to try, you know, my aim is to get on the podium every round or just finish high up there, you know, good qualifying points, at least top eight, top four, and just be there, you know, um, and just having fun, putting on a show and, yeah, blazing it up. She's a long way to the end and you're not going to give up till, till the fat lady sings. <laughs>